All this flooding this weekend comes after heavy rain caused water damage at an area church a week ago. Leaders of this Collinsville community said they were devastated and they're still rebuilding now after losing pretty much everything inside their church last weekend. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti shows us how members at Fairhaven Fellowship are moving forward and continuing to worship. Just a few days ago, this area was underwater and rather than looking at what they lost, they're focusing on what they have. They're not here for the building. They're here for what God has given them in the service. Since last week's devastating flood, members of the Fairhaven Church have been busy cleaning up. It's pretty hard to see it. I mean, it really was. It was, it was kind of heartbreaking. It was kind of hard. But not too busy to resume Sunday services. It's a blessing to, to make, you know, to encourage one another to keep going, to keep your heads lifted up. For some, it may have felt a little stuffy inside, but Pastor Randy Sawyer says this church family was grateful to be able to gather in the same building upstairs. You know, that, you know, that, that's the wonderful thing. We didn't lose one another. And we wanted to rejoice today and just, just bask in the goodness of God. And rejoice they did. We have each other and the church, the people are the ones that make up the church. It's not the building. As for the downstairs, Sawyer says it's still very damp from the flood. He expects the cleanup to continue for several more weeks. In order to back up the flood, and until that is corrected, you know, we're, we're sort of at a, at a stalemate with that until we can find out a time frame for that being repaired. While the congregation continues to rebuild, Sawyer says he's confident they will continue to have services one way or another. In Collinsville, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.